Adam is recalled from the dead. The curse is made void. Eve is set free. Death is slain, and we are endowed with life. Wherefore, in Him of praise, we cry aloud, Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who is thus well pleased, glory to thee. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Thyself to thine apostles, thou didst send them forth to proclaim thee, and through them thou hast granted thy peace and to the civilized world. O thou who alone are plenteous in mercy. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our soul. Church of God and for the uniform man, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those of faith, reverence, and fear of God, intervene, let us pray to the Lord.
blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To
Let us commend ourselves and each other into our whole life unto Christ our God. To
The reading is from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. Wisdom let us attend. In those days, Paul was determined to sail past Ephesus so that he might not have to spend time in Asia, for he was hastening, if possible, to be at Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost. And from Malaitis he sent to Ephesus and called to him the priests of the church. And when they came to him, he said to them, Take heed to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you bishops, to shepherd the church of the Lord and God, which he purchased with his own blood. For I know that after my departure, ravenous wolves will enter among you, not sparing the flock, and from among your own selves will arise men, speaking preserved things, to, dr to draw away the dis disciples after them. Therefore, remain watchful in remembering that for three years I did not cease to admonish everyone, night and day with tears. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all those who are sanctified. I coveted no one's silver or gold or apparel. You yourselves know that these hands minister to my necessities and to those who are with me. And all things I have shown you that by such laboring we ought to help the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And when he had spoken thus, he knelt down on his knees and with them all and prayed. Peace be to thee, the traitor. lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son may glorify thee, since thou hast given him power over all flesh, to give eternal life to all whom thou hast given him. And this is eternal life, that they know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I glorified thee on earth, having accomplished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, Father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I have held thee before the world as. I have manifested thy name to the men whom thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Now they know that everything that thou hast given me is from thee, for I have given them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those whom thou hast given me, for they are thine, all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to thee. Holy Father, keep them in thy name, which thou hast given me, that they may be one even as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name, which thou hast given me. I have guarded them, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, and that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to thee, and these things I speak to the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. Aslan Sharif. من بشارة القديس يوحنا الإنجيل 
البشير أتميد الطائر كلاتنا مجد لك يا رب مجد لنصي في ذلك الزمان رفع يسوع عيني إلى السماء وقال يا أبتي قد أتت الساعة مجد ابنك ليمجدك ابنك أيضا كما أعطيته سلطانا على كل بشر ليعطي كل من أعطيته له حياة أبدية وهذه الحياة الأبدية أن يعرفوك أنت الإله الحقيق وحدك والذي أرسلته يسوع المسيح أنا قد مجدتك على الأرض قد أتممت العمل الذي أعطيتني لأعمله والآن مجدني أنت يا أبتي عندك بالمجد الذي كان لي عندك من قبل كون العالم قد أعلنت اسمك للناس الذين أعطيتهم لي من العالم هم كانوا لك وأنت أعطيتهم لي وقد حفظوا كلامك والآن قد علموا أن كل ما أعطيته لي ومنك لأن الكلام الذي أعطيته لي أعطيته لهم وهم قبلوا وعلموا حقا إني منك خرجت وآمنوا أنك أرسلتني أنا من أجلهم أسأل لا أسأل من أجل العالم بل من أجل الذين أعطيتهم لي لأنهم لك كل شيء لي هو لك وكل شيء لك هو لي وأنا قد مجدت مجدت فيه ولست أنا بعد في العالم وأولاي في العالم وأنا آتي إليك أيها الأب القدوس احفظهم باسمك الذين أعطيتهم لي ليكونوا واحدا كما نحن أين كنت معهم في العالم كنت أحفظهم باسمك إن الذين أعطيتهم لي قد حفظتهم ولم يهلكوا منهم أحد إلا ابن الهلاك ليتم الكتاب أما الآن فأني آتي إليك وأنا أتكلم بهذا في العالم ليكون فرحي كاملا في Good morning. Welcome. We wish to welcome each and every one of you. We have not seen you for a long time. We're so glad that you're here. I'd like to welcome Father George Ajalat and the Ajalat family and their aunts and uncles from California. They came and took a bride to their son, David.
wrong, it, it tends to go wrong. Um, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, My dearly beloved, this morning it is uh, three celebrations. The first one, the church honored the Holy Fathers of the First Ecumenical Council. Now, who are these people? Sometimes we dwell only on our own need and we forget those who touch our life who were before us. So these were the fathers of the church who gave us the creed that every Sunday we stand and we confess and say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. So the church honored them today. Also, the church honor Father Day. It is today we salute you and we say Happy Father Day to all the founding fathers of our community. Today, something else is special you might find a lot of seats empty in this church, which is good once in a while. We have a break. We don't have to compete and have... Uh, we have a bus that left at 7.30 to the village, Antiochian village. So they took all my altar boys and Father Jim, and they're going for the first session at the camp. So it's wonderful celebration. But what about fathers? What about fathers? When God gave Moses the commandment, he gave him ten. And some people pick and choose which one they want to follow. It's like religion is a suggestion. The first four commandments God asked Moses about a special relationship to teach the people between us and God. I am the Lord your God. Have no other God but me. A relationship. And the fifth commandment is something of the most important one. He said, honor your father and your mother. Honor your father and your mother. Well, it is today that we're honoring our parents. Yes, in this morning gospel, taken from the book of John, Jesus prayed for all. And he especially prayed for his father. And he said, this is eternal life. This is eternal life. That they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you sent. Having the right faith makes us do the right things. Having the right faith makes us write down the right things. Having the right faith makes us children of light every day of our life wherever we go. 
We don't have to condemn others and measure others. We know who we are. So there is difference between knowing your faith and having education. Education does not save us. Faith in Christ save us. Well, where does knowledge come from? Don't make the mistake that commit your kids only to their school, whether they go to public school or private school. Knowledge does not come only from education. Knowledge comes and must come from whom? From whom? It is our day care, our first kindergarten. Our first elementary school, it is our home, which will carry us one day to go to college, to go to college. And we emphasize today that our first teacher are our father, our mother, they're our teacher. Honor your father and your mother. So this is the first, and this is the fifth commandment. It teaches us to honor our father and mother. What is the image of God in our daily life. The image of God in our daily life as children is our dad. Our dad. Sadly, I came to America in 1972 and there was a lot of respect in society, on television, in the media. And sadly, all of a sudden, we plunge into a road of destruction. Sadly, the image of father in our society has become a man who betrayed in cartoon as a man is in the social media and TV. One who is not dependable. One who is drunken. One who is chister. One who all lies and not good enough for his wife. Do you ever seen this movie or show, Married with Children? Or, or the cartoon, Family Guy? You must take an oath never to let your children watch these shows. So all the image of father has been decimated. Yes. <coughs> Father is our first teacher, our first teacher. We must take back our place at home. We must take that. Father is the first teacher to his children. Father established our churches in America. 
I remember when I came to Detroit and I've done a funeral in a funeral home, an elderly man said to me, where is the mabkhara, where is the incense? He knows that we must use an incense and mabkhara. And that was your grandfather and was your father. Yes, I never forget that. Father must teach their children to be honorable. Father must teach their children to be respectful, to be generous, to be loving, to be prayerful. But in order for children to be learn to be respectful, to be generous, to be loving, to be kind, they have to have a father who is loving and respectful and kind and generous. Kids don't go to college to learn these things. They learn it from home. Mark Twain, I was introduced to Mark Twain in college. I had to read Huckleberry Finn, which is an American classic. He wrote the following. He said, when I was a boy of 14 years old, my father was so ignorant, I could hardly stand to have him, to have this old man around. But when I got to be 21 years old, I was astonished at how much the old man learned in seven years. You know, when we were little, we always thought our parents don't know much. But those of us who lost a father and you are 78 years old, don't you wish your dad is around? We all do. Yes. Yes, my dearly beloved. No one is orphan. No one is orphan. We have three fathers. We have three fathers. Our biological father. And our adopted father. Our adopted father. And a loving father who is in heaven. Yesterday, I was asked to go to a cemetery in Whitechapel. And there was a young mother with three children. They asked me to pray for their dad. I prayed. And I looked at this young boy, his name Ayub. I said, son, don't be sad. Don't just feel you are an orphan. If you want to honor your father, fulfill his dream by taking care of your mother, by being an honorable man when you grow, by living the dream of your father. Go to school. Go to church. You are to take father and you are to be honorable like your father. We read in the book of Proverbs, the Bible, and it says, listen to your father who gave you life and do not ever disrespect your mother. If we do that, our churches will always be full even a minority in America. Even a minority in America. As Jesus prayed today for all fathers, eternal life 
is to know God and whom you have sent, Jesus Christ. This prayer, if it is taught and returned by fathers to their children, we will always have a generation not only honor God, but honor also our dad. And with that, happy Father Day to all of you. God bless you. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us from God by thy grace wisdom. That being guarded by thy might, may ascribe in glory unto thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
all of you. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. وجميع المسيحين الحسن العبادة ساكنين في هذه المدينة والمجتمعين في هذه الكنيسة المقدسة ووكلائها والمحسنين إليها والذين يتعبون ويخدمون فيها ليذكركم الرب الإله في ملكوت السماوي كل حين الآن وكل وان وإلى دهر الداهرين آمين Philip and Bishop Anthony May the Lord God remember them in his kingdom always Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 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 وإلى دهر President of the United States and all civil authority and our armed forces, may the Lord God remember them in his kingdom now and ever and unto ages of ages. The servant of God, whom we pray for them today, on this Holy Father's Day, may the Lord bless our dad, grant them health, salvation, and visitation. The founders of this Holy Church and the servant of God, Najla Sassim, and all the campers who went to the Antiochian village this morning, we pray for their safety and their teacher and parents and the servant of God, Father George and Janine Ajalat and the Ajalat family, Timothy Lawson, Rose Bedrin, Baby Aiden, Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop Johanna, Elias Riz, George, Wamaham Dana, Angela Nasser, Isa Nunu, Paul and Anne Salami, Michelle Milky, Gianna Abdul Noor, Leonard George, Elias Ghari, Mu'ayyad Shahadi, Nawal Bawalski, Larry, Jad Alex Harb, A.B. and Chloe, Tyree, Shawki and Paris and Nora Musallam and their parents, Daniel, Lena and Marco Nujayim, Chloe Fotius, Wanda Fayez, Turfey, Julia Shahadi and her family, Rula Isa Nayyub Kakish, Elaine Salim, Gabriel Menken, Hala George Khouri, David Janine Ajalat and their parents, Khil, George Wa Elaine Dirani and their family, Chuck and Farida Dirani and their family, George and Dorothy Dirani and their family, Bob and Margaret Murad and their family, and the Cub Scout of our church, Andrew Abu Khadr, Anthony Shalhu, Daniel Abaita, Derek Butros, Isa Husayri, Jude Aude, Mark Saad, Nicholas Saman, Rafi Hanna, Anthony Kashu, and their volunteer, Faisal Abu Khadr, Leanne Buckley, Maria Butros, Nahla Shalhu, Samir Hanna. Nick Malouf, Nancy Husseiri, and Haysam Fakhuri, and all of you, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The servant of God departed this life before us, whom we honor their memory today, the founders of this holy church, and our parents and father who died into everlasting life. And the servant of God, Victor George, Brian, Tommy, Ellen Ingram, and Johnny Ingram, and the servant of God, Khalil Khalife, Albert Abdul Noor, Gabe Kasser, Hilda Nasser, Joe Catriano, Ike Bujrab, Ken Bedrin, Joseph Michael, George Abadi, Leroy Jim, Fadi Kaki, Khalil Ajduni, Richard and Esther, Patricia Mason, Alex and Maryam Kandah, Joseph and Ghada Barakat, Ibrahim and Hind and Latif Leon, Isa Hassan, Faris Kaki, Faris Shalhu, Jirjis Shalhu, Salim Garif, Adib Jahshan, and all the departed, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom now and ever and unto ages of ages. The priest of the Lord God is a very now and the priest of ages. Amen.
Let us stand upright. Let us stand with fear. Let us stand and be offered. Now in your place in the peace.
which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Khudukunu hadha wa jasadi, alladhi yuksaru min ajlikum, limaghfirati al-khataya. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. Again, we offer unto this reasonable and unbloody service and beseech thee and praise thee and supplicate thee. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts spread forth and make this a bread, the precious body of Christ. Amen. And that which in this cup, the precious blood of Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That those who shall partake therefore may be and cleanser of soul and remission of sin. And the communion of the Holy Spirit. And again, we offer to this reasonable service for all those who died before us, our parents, especially the Father. Prophet, preacher, evangelist, martyr, confessor, patriarch, ascetic, and every righteous. Anthony, 
whom do thy grant unto thy holy churches and peace, safety, honor, and themselves of days, brought ye the word to those of thy truth. And of all Grant us with one mouth, one heart, to glorify and praise the noble majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Asking for the unity of faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us command ourselves and each other in all our life and to Christ our God. boldness and without condemnation, we may dare to call upon Thee, the heavenly God as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who أبانا الذي في السماوات ليتقدس اسمه ليأتي الملكون لتكن مشيئة كما في السماء وكالة خبزنا الجوهر العظيم وجبتنا معنا كما نكون نحن بمن نعم For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all and to thy spirit. Let us bow our head unto the Lord. Passion and love to our men of the only begotten Son, with whom thou blessed together with thine old Holy Give Spirit now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
الله في مانتك Sanctify those who love the beauty of the house, glorify them, recompensed by divine power, and forsake us for not to hope indeed. Give peace, O Lord, to our world, to Syria, to every father of this church community, to priests, to civil authority, to armed forces, and to all thy people, for every good and perfect gift from above and comes down from thee, the Father of life. And unto thee we ascribe great thanksgiving worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever to ages of angels. Christ our God, over hope, glory to thee. Oh. 
Intercession is immaculate of them, this Holy Mother, our Father among the Saint John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the Holy Glorious and Right, Victorious Martyr of our Venerable Giving Father, Saint Mary, the Patron Saint of our Church Community, of the Holy Rights of God, Jacob and Anna, and of Saint Jude, whose memory we celebrate, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us for as much as good loves mankind. Through the prayer of Holy Father, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy upon us and save us.